This is a tutorial on how to make a standard line graph. For this tutorial, we are going to reproduce the graph that is found on page 59 and 60 of your manual. The first thing to note is that while your manual has your data in two columns, we need to put it into Excel in one column. As you can see here, I have entered all the data into the columns. The first thing I need to do is insert a header on each of my columns that will help when we go to input the data into a graph. Now that I have my data, I'm going to select it and I'm going to go to insert and now I'm going to do a line graph. And once again, you can pick any of these styles, but I'm just going to pick the standard line graph. I'm going to, need to select the with the markers so that it matches the one in our manual. Now I have my graph. Now as you can see we have a couple of problems here. The first is that Excel believes that each of these items is its own independent data and that's not true. So what we do is select the graph, right click, and go to select data. And in this case it tells us here that it thinks that day is part of our data series and that's not what we want so we're going to go ahead and remove it and then we're going to hit OK. Now as you can see we now have a graph that appears similar to the one in the manual. We're going to select our key and delete that because we don't need it we only have one set of data. Now let's fix our title. We're going to click on our title and we're going to highlight it and go ahead and type to replace it. So once again, the text will resize to fit the graph, and I'm going to go ahead and make that a little bit bigger so we can see it. Now let's go ahead and add our axis labels. We're going to go to Chart Tools, Layout, Axis Title, and let's do our horizontal one first. And we need to rename this to Day. And now let's go ahead and do our vertical. We're going to do the rotated title once again so it matches the manual. And this is oxygen. And it's important anytime you have data that you label the units. And in this case, oxygen is labeled in parts per million. Now I want to change the data series that I have here on the right on our vertical axis. And I do that, so I do that by selecting it, right click, and go to Format Axis. I want to make my minimum and change it from automatic to fixed of 8 because none of our data falls below 8 and I want to change my maximum to 15 because none of our data goes above 15. My major unit is going to go by 1's and you can just leave the minor unit alone. Now as you can tell in the background the data is automatically adjusting to match what we, fit, what we have selected and it looks pretty darn good. Okay. Now I want to look at our days and I don't need to have this many data points for the days. So let's go ahead and select our axis again, but this time the horizontal axis. Right click and go to format axes. Horizontal axis has fewer options and what we want to do is specify the interval unit. So instead of one, I'm going to change this to two. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit close. And as you can see it reformatted the axis to go by two starting with one. And that is all we need to complete our graph. So now that we have our graph, we can resize it and input it into our report or anything else that we want to do with it.